Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chash yakshi mash. So today I am going to be doing a little gadget review. What do we have? We have here the Hive Active Plug. And it feels a bit lonely, so we'll bring in another one. So I've actually got two Hive Active plugs that we're going to be setting up today. And today's video is going to be showing you how easy these are to set up once you've already got your system set up in the house and you have other bulbs or other devices or whatever. Adding on a new device to that system is extremely easy and that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've also got here a socket because I'm doing this in the garage. So I thought I would do you know, bring this here for you to see how easy it is. So first thing we have to do is open the packet. We'll take out the first plug. I will do this twice for the two separate ones. A smart plug that turns your electrical devices on and off. Now, um, there are other devices out there, for example, like the um, Philips Hue and whatever. I've never tried the Philips Hue because we've just naturally gone with Hive because of the um, installation we had with British Gas a few years ago but they're pretty much the same device. Nice little cardboard box. Is it recyclable? No it's not recyclable I think. Or is that on about the actual device itself? I don't know. Um, can't see any reason why the box shouldn't be recyclable. Inside here we have the plug. Nothing else. Very protective in cardboard. Again easy for recycling. So this is it. That's all there is. This is the on and off button for turning it on and off manually. So if you have it plugged in and uh, you don't have a hive, say for example the internet down or whatever, you can still easily turn on and off the devices via that button which is really good. Very similar to the Wemo. But these ones work in conjunction with your other hive devices creating a link rather than every single device fighting directly for the router. This one links up with the other ones so it doesn't take up too much width bandwidth wi-fi whatever you want to call it british plug blah 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 nice and safe first thing we have to do is literally just plug it in hang on oh i forgot this plug has issues there we go there we go so now it's flashing so there's power going to it. Next thing I have to do is bring in my iPad. Hello. So I'm going to go straight to the Hive app, which is there. Actually, the light is shining directly on it wonderfully. There we go. Let's turn it off. So it's loading up. So there we go. Those are all my devices some of them the way I've got it set up so I want to add a device so at the bottom it says add install a new device and we are other oh oh there we go I didn't realize that um, it also works with Philips Hue. That's something I hadn't seen before. Okay, other Hive devices. Light sensors and our signal booster need to connect to your hub. Make sure the device you uh, want to pair is plugged in, switched on, and we'll have batteries inserted. Let's press start. Device pairing. That is now starting to do a double flash in green. Now this is quite interesting because I have had this on now for about five minutes and it hasn't found it and I think it's because I'm in the garage, I'm in the workshop um, and even though I do have a, a sky booster signal out here, I don't think this is reaching the hub for its initialization. Now I do have devices in the workshop, I have another one of these plugs for the outdoor lights and I also have one of the bulbs and they work absolutely fine. but. It appears to be for the initialization that it might have to be closer to the hub. So I'm going to move inside 
and we'll try it there. I'm not going to take the iPad in, I'm just going to take the device in. So I'm going to go and plug it into the house, closest to the um, to the hub. So I've gone and done that, so let's try it again. And there we go, it's found it. So there we go, that's something you have to know is that you have to be closest to the hub uh, for it to work. So there we go, so it says continue. Um, I'm gonna rename it. strip lights because they're going to be controlling the strip lights above the cabinets in the kitchen. Save. Let's go for the list. Ah, there it is there. Action. Strip lights. Upgrade firmware. So let's upgrade it. not on there so let's add ah place a device on dashboard there we go strip lights and there it is it's saying to upgrade firm I just did that all right okay it is upgrading already so there we go so that is done now what I need to do now is to go into my Amazon Alexa, search for the device on there, add it onto there and add it to the kitchen group. So when I say Alexa turn on kitchen, the entire kitchen will come on. So I'll do that now off camera. Okay, so that's been done and set up on the Amazon Alexa. Well connected Alexa, uh, connected to the groups that I wanted to be connected to. We are done and dusted. So let's go and check it out. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Alexa, turn off kitchen. So that's one down, one to go. Now at the back of the box I did notice what I didn't show before there are or oh, there is a user guide of what to do so it is explained in there so there we go this one is going to go in the bedroom on a lamp that I have on the other side of the room. So this one's going to go up there. So I'm going to go inside and plug it in. Okay, so I've gone up and I've switched it on, plugged it in, switched it on. It is now double flashing an amber light. Add. New device. Other devices, start. There we go, it's found it. So I did that in real time, it wasn't too long. Continue. The only thing that gets me, you've got to give these things names. And if you have a lot, a lot of devices and stuff like I have. So I've called that French lamp. Don't ask. Save. So that's on. Go back to the other list
just update it. Oh, there we go, French lamp. Go on to settings, upgrade firmware. Update. Okay, so that's been updated now. Voila. No, what did I do now? We got place device on dashboard, French lamp. And that it is. Strip lights have been updated already. This one, the French lamp, it's still got the little sign on it. So if I just go back into it and I was going to do a, an upgrade firmware, it tells you that it's being upgraded. And when it's done, finished doing its upgrading, oh, there we go. So there we go. So if I say to Alexa here, Alexa, Alexa, turn on French lamp. Sorry, I didn't find the device named French lamp. Oh yeah, because I didn't add it to Amazon. Alexa, shut up. Let me go and add it on to Alexa. Okay, so I've added it now to the group. Why is it doing that? Stay there. Alexa, turn on French lamp. update and French lamp is on Alexa turn off French lamp update and there we go French lamp is off so there we go guys I'd like to say a big thank you to Remy underscore 1984 this was the seller that I bought it from on eBay. Go and check out. He's got some other Hive products on there as well. But yeah, very, very nice seller on eBay. We communicated a few times. So thank you very much, Remy. So there we go. That is the review over and done with. Once you have these Hive systems set up, um, it's, it's pretty much similar to the Philips um, Hue system and the Philips products, but I use Hive and uh, that's what I have so I've invested in Hive so I'll be continuing with Hive and I have many many of these devices around the house and they are fantastic so every time I get one I will add a review and video on how to do it so once you have it set up already adding any new devices on there are very easy just remember to it's not very good out here because it's too far away from the um, router so uh, and from the um, hub so do it inside or closer to the hub and then you can just move it around that's the only advice i can give but yeah hopefully you won't have any issues so i hope you've enjoyed thank you very much for watching nice little simple video for you today nice little short one and i will see you in the next episode bye y'all